All right, hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Ms. Nunez and I am a computer science teacher working with uh, middle school primarily this year. We're using code.org CS Discoveries curriculum. Um, and so we're looking at unit three on interactive animations and games. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at lesson 17 on mouse input. Um, and before we jump into any of the levels and uh, get started with those, of course, I highly, highly recommend, first things first, check out the purple lesson resources icon. So we're gonna open that up and see what we have. All right, so this is telling us that we have a new vocabulary word, conditionals, uh, statements that only run when certain conditions are true. And then we also have some new introduced code. Um, so we've seen if condition then statement before, but now we're seeing if condition statement else statement. So if it's raining, grab an umbrella, else leave the umbrella at home. All right. Uh, so key went downstroke, key went upstroke, mouse did move, mouse down, mouse went down, mouse went up, and sprite.visible. So we've actually played with sprite.visible already. We played with uh, key went down, key went up, I believe. Um, but the mouse moves are going to be the new ones for us today. And then there is a video. Uh, I highly recommend before you start playing with the levels, pause me, pause the video, go watch this, and then come back. Uh, it's definitely going to put you in a much better state of mind to get started with things. So while well, so you've done that, come on back. All right. And then we're going to start with level one, the with the prediction. So it says, if else, predict. Read through the following program, paying special attention to the if else block on line 10, that's this one right here. After discussing the following question with your partner, write down your predictions and run the code to see what the program does. Now you're gonna notice that you cannot run the program yet. You need to put in your answer first. And like I said before, I've literally had a student sit there almost the entire class period before I said, dude, what's the, what's the matter? What's going on? And he was like, it doesn't work. And it's because he didn't put anything in here, so he thought he couldn't run this. Put something in first, and then you can press run. And because we're teachers and we love it, please use full sentences. All right, so it says variable balloon gets create sprite. All right, we're creating a sprite called balloon. We're going to set the animation to balloon, so we've got a balloon somewhere on the screen. Uh, setting the scale, so the scale is correct. And then we're going to hit, hit our loop. Um, the background is going to stay white. And then if key down, so if the space bar is pressed, then the balloon is going to, uh, go up in scale by 0 0.02, uh, else if the key space is not pressed, um, it's going to lower by 0 0.01. So, okay. I think that once the program begins, the balloon is going to start shrinking in size. However, if we press the space bar, it will uh, get bigger. All right, so now that I've put that in there, and I, as you can see, these are all uh, blank and empty, so I haven't done any of this lesson yet. I could look at the teacher manual, but I refuse to do that. I want to do it with you guys. We'll figure it out together. So with that, uh, let's see what happens. All right, wait, all right. <laughs> so exactly that, the balloon's gonna lower unless I press the space bar. And I'm sure you can hear, I do have a mechanical keyboard, so you can hear the space bar being pressed. All right, and that's just gonna happen over and over and over and over again. So there we go. All right, we're going to press finish there. So I'm going to see you on the next level. Here we go.